Hello students, welcome to SS tutorial. Today in this video, we will learn about types of coal and its formation. So let's begin. Coal is a sedimentary rock which can be burned and black or brownish in color. It is a compound of carbon, hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen and nitrogen. Coal is very much important to us as it is used in electric generation, domestic fuel, metal production, cement production, chemical production and so on. Almost 76% of total coal of the world reserves in 5 countries. They are USA, Russia, Australia, China and India. USA has the world largest coal reserves. Let's know how coal is formed. The formation of coal depends on time, pressure and temperature. Millions of years ago, there was dense forest and wetland in the earth. Due to natural calamities like flood, earthquake, this dense forest of wetland buried under the soil. And then bacteria starts to decompose these plants as it is no longer contact with air. After some chemical reaction, these dead plants first converted into peat. Then with high pressure and temperature, peat slowly converted into coal. Here we must know that this slow process of conversion of dead plant into coal or carbon is known as carbonization. That means at first plant buried under the soil. Then, with some bacterial and chemical reaction, it is converted into peat. With time, under high pressure and temperature, peat slowly converted into coal. The process of coal formation takes millions of years. Which means, in the first stage, dead plants turns into peat, then peat turns into lignite, and then lignite turns into subbituminous, then subbituminous turns into bituminous, and in the final stage, bituminous turns into anthracite by high pressure and high temperature. Let's know about types of coal. Coal can be classified into five types. On the basis of carbon, the coal contains. And on the basis of amount of heat, the coal can generate. They are peat, lignite, subbituminous, bituminous and anthracite. Let's know them one by one. Peat is the first stage of coal formation. That means it is the first stage of transformation from dead plants into coal. Here we must know that Peat is not considered as coal, though it can be burns. Peat is a soft, spongy material in which presence of plants are easily recognizable. Peat contains partly decayed plants and deposited materials matter. It contains large amount of moisture content and must be dried before use. It has very low carbon content, only 30 to 45 percent. So it is very less use in power generation. It is normally used as domestic fuel. When pressure and temperature increases, peat turns into lignite. Lignite is lower grade brown coal. It contains 40 to 55 percent carbon and over 35 percent moisture. Therefore, lignite burning results more carbon dioxide emission in the air. Further increase of pressure and temperature, brown lignite turns into black in color, which is known as subbituminous. It is the intermediate stage between lignite and bituminous. Carbon content of subbituminous coal is higher than lignite. So, this type of coal is used more than lignite. With high pressure and temperature, subbituminous coal turns into bituminous. It is a good quality coal. The name bituminous came from a liquid called bitumen. It has high carbon content and low moisture content. It is used in the production of metal and cement. It is also used in power generation as it has high calorific value. It is also used in coke production. Further increased in pressure and temperature, bituminous turns into anthracite. It is the best quality coal found in the earth. It contains almost 80 to 95 percent carbon content and very small proportion of moisture content, which gives a high calorific value. When it burns, it gives blue flame. It is mainly used in metal industry. That's all for today. Hope this video helps you to know about coal. If you like this video, then please press the like button and share this video with your friends. And if you are new in my channel, then please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.